so a few things. Um, I finished up the frog catching in Q's Marsh for now. I basically tried to leave a male and female there so they can keep reproducing. Um, I also went to the Trino auction house and I um, obtained the promised ring uh, or uh, how much did I pay for that? Um, I think around 20,000 or something gill and then I also uh, won the thief gloves um, which normally isn't something you can get for a while in the game and then it's pretty expensive um, but I got that for 28,000 gill which is expensive but it's actually like seemed like a better deal than what you could get later so and plus I, I have a pretty powerful item now as opposed to later so paying for that aspect of it so we've pretty much done everything that we can for side quests right now um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, continue on with the story um, so we just went all the way to Black Mage Village, and you see I just took the chocobo, because at this point it's sort of like, yeah, it's night. the blue Narcissus is nice when you don't have the capability of crossing the water at all, but now that we have the chocobo, it's like, does everything that the blue Narcissus can do plus more, because he can actually cross land and mountains and everything, so it's like, not really much point in using the blue Narcissus anymore. So here we are, back in the Black Mage Village. Looks like nobody's here. Where did they go? I'm gonna go look around. Ah, uh, he's always getting left behind. everyone they went away with Kucha two other guys stayed behind they're probably at the chocobo shack why why did they go with him they learned about our lifespan we can live only for a given amount of time Kucha said he knew how to extend our lifespans so everyone followed him he's lying I bet he's lying Look what he's done to us. He's been using us, treating us like puppets. Maybe we are just puppets, created to serve humans. <gasps> Come on, that's nonsense. Where did they go? I can't tell you that. I can't betray them. Then why didn't you go with them? You said the two other guys are in the chocobo shack, right? Brian! This guy's not talking. Hello? Is anyone there? Brian, please open the door. Ah! Huh? It's born. Hmm? Oh, wait. Finally. Ah, finally. Hooray! Hooray! I still can't believe it! 
Yeah. I don't understand. Why are you here? We're here to look after the chocobo. At first, we were going to go with everyone, but someone had to stay behind to look after the chocobo egg, so we stayed. We kept the egg nice and warm by putting a lot of hay over it. Aww. I can't wait to show him to everyone. They're going to be so happy. We have to come up with a name. Hey, what's happening to me? I feel strange. M me too. You stayed behind because you were worried about the chocobo egg. I don't know. I wanted to follow Kuja because I was so scared of dying. But I couldn't. I felt like I was leaving something important behind. I want to ask you something. What is it? Am, am I going to stop pretty soon, too? Huh? I don't know. Kucha said the prototype built before us would last longer. But I am going to stop eventually. I was really confused when my grandpa died. He told me, Brian, no need be sad. So I told myself, I can't be sad. That's why I felt confused again when I heard that everyone was stopping around here. I didn't know what to do or what to feel. But when I saw Jenny crying when her mom died, I wasn't confused anymore. I was sad. If I were just a puppet, I never would have felt that way. Mr. 288, we aren't puppets. I know we aren't. I hate him. I hate Kuja. He's turning everyone into puppets just to kill people. If it weren't for him, I know everyone would understand someday. It's not fair. Brian. Kuja's secret palace is on the eastern side of this continent. Ah? It's buried under quicksand. You'll need a ship to get there. Thanks. I hope we can become strong like you someday. Brian has so much on his mind. Unlike me, he's fighting so hard. I thought I would change after I met Ryan. Once I acceded to the throne, is it supposed to be ascended? They probably know more words than I know. Once I acceded to the throne, I knew I had to change. But nothing has changed. I'm so helpless. Wow. Jenny, were you listening to? That crybaby sure has come a long way, don't you think? Jenny? Are you all right? Don't worry too much. Brian has his own way of dealing with things, and you have yours. Come on, cheer up. We'll beat up Kuja, and you'll get your voice back in no time. Brian? Is something wrong? Okay, let's get going. Mr. 288 said Kuja's palace is buried under quicksand, right? Yeah, we're taking the ship to the eastern side of the continent to get there.
Okay, so there's four sand pits here. Only one of them is correct. So you have to look at the ones that aren't puffing little poofs of smoke or whatever out at them. should have saved first. Ho ha ha. I knew you'd come. Everything is going according to plan. Ryan, Robert, wake up. Uh, uh. Sid, where are, where the heck are we? Good question, Robert. I wish I knew. After I fell into the quicksand, everything went dark. That's all I can remember. Me too, Ribbit. When I woke up, Ribbit, I was in this room. Oh yeah, where is everyone? I don't know, Ribbit. I hope they're all right. So, you're finally awake. That voice is Kuja. I'm so happy to see you again. You rap bastard, where are my friends? My, my, aren't we feisty today? No need to worry about them. They're in rooms not unlike yours. Oh yes, by the way, I should probably enlighten you as to your current situation. Yikes! I'm sure that even your feeble mind can grasp what would happen if you were to take that plunge. <laughs> Kuja, you're dead. Oh dear, was it something I said? Either way, now that you are aware of your predicament, I'd like you to do a tiny little favor for me. I'll let your friends live if you say yes. Damn it. I have no choice. Damn it, I don't have a choice. Very good, you've chosen wisely. First, step outside. Hey Sid, I need you to look after the others. Fine, Ribbit, I won't let you down. And you, Ribbit, you come back safe. Yeah, I will. See ya. Not these guys again. Stand between the two black mages. Welcome to my humble abode. Just cut to the chase and tell me what the heck you want. My, we're upset, aren't we? Well, this is your errand. I want you to go somewhere and bring something back for me. So tell me what it is already, demon. I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Surely you haven't forgotten that I hold your friends' lives in my hands. Brr. I'm going to send you to a place called Oil Bear. Where's that? Oil Bear is south of the Seaways Canyon on the Forgotten Continent. It really isn't my kind of place. What do you mean by that? You see...